Interview. Hello everyone, I'm Maxwell McGee, and this evening we're here at a Riot Games press event where we're checking out League of Legends Dominion. To help me do that, I'm joined by Travis George, lead producer on the game. Travis, thank you for joining us. Hey Maxwell, thanks for coming down. So Travis, I'm going to let you do the big reveal here. What is League of Legends Dominion all about? Well, uh, we're really excited to announce tonight that League of Legends Dominion is not only a new map, as uh, some of our players have been asking for a new map for a little <laughs> bit, uh, but League of Legends Dominion is an all-new capture-and-hold game mode. It's got a brand new map, it's got a brand new rule set, it's got new items, new buffs, all kinds of cool stuff, and we couldn't be happier to be finally talking about it. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, the pace and flow of the game. Watching the game upstairs, Dominion seems to, uh, it starts fast, it ends fast, it looks really intense. Uh, tell us a little bit about how it uh, how it differs from like the, uh, the standard uh, Summoner's Rift, Twisted Tree Line style of play. Cool. Well, uh, you forgot the middle part is also fast, too. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, you know, Dominion is about, most games last uh, about 20 minutes, or about half the time of a Summoner's Rift game. And uh, you're right, it, it's fast, it's exhilarating, um, and that's really what it's intended to do. Uh, the rule set is, is, a, is a little simplified um, from Summoner's Rift, but it's by no means simple. Um, and what players are doing is they're vying for control of five capture points across the map. Um, and really the objective is to capture, defend, and basically crush the enemy uh, when you have more capture points than they do. Um, the pace of the game, uh, most games actually have about the same uh, number of kills as a normal Summoner's Rift game, uh, condensed down into 20 minutes, plus all the capturing, plus all the dynamic uh, changes in the map that that creates. Uh, there's quests in the, in the mode, there's all kinds of new buffs and items. Um, so really, the, the feel of Dominion is fast-paced, exhilarating. Uh, from the first moment that you start playing, you know, it's not uh, like on a Summoner's Rift game where, you know, maybe you get caught in the brush and, oops, I accidentally died or I accidentally got into a team fight. You know, from, uh, from the moment that a Dominion game starts, you're literally racing to capture points and there's other guys there and you're supposed to fight them. So literally within the first 20 seconds of playing Dominion, you're fighting and from the rest of the, that point on, you're fighting small skirmishes, you know, 1v1s, 2v2s. Uh, hopefully you're on, on the right end of those battles. <laughs> But uh, you know, yeah, you're right. The the, the game is fast. It's exhilarating. Uh, but it's also it, it's also deep too, and, and that that comes into play with the new items, new game systems, etc. Yeah. So, what are some of like the uh, the habits that standard mode players are going to have to perhaps learn to break when when transferring over to this new mode? Yeah. Um, well. You know, one of the great things is that you'll be able to play all the all the same champions in both Classic and Dominion, which is, uh, so you don't have to relearn your favorite champion, you get to bring them over. Um, you know, there may be some new items that they'll get to check out, There's some, there are still some, uh, some old items from Classic mode in there as well. Um, but one of the biggest things that we've noticed through playing ourselves is that, kind of that, that extra urge, that bloodlust, that little extra desire to go chase that guy through the jungle and get the kill. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes in Dominion, the actual best thing to do is stay on your point and, and really kind of die a hero sometimes, right? And so, you know, it's not something you typically want to do in Summoner's Rift, where dying is generally considered bad at all times. You know, if you're holding a point uh, against three other champions uh, versus you're just one self, um, you know, you can really give your team the opportunity to go capture some other points if you can fend them off, right? And so, uh, you know, really kind of thinking about what the objective of the map is and, and kind of not, not thinking that death is always as bad as, as it is on classic League of Legends and also kind of maybe resisting the urge to leave that point and chase somebody across the map to get that one kill, right? So those are the two biggest things that we've noticed. All right, well, I've got one more question for you, perhaps the most important question. Okay. When will players be able to get their hands on this new mode? Ah, well you've asked uh, the question in a really awesome way. So I can actually tell you, and I'm super excited about this, players will actually be able to play Dominion hands-on at both Gamescom and PAX this year. So all you have to do is, if you're at one of those shows, all you have to do is show up at the Riot booth, say you're there to play Dominion, and, uh, and you get to play it hands-on, you get to see exactly what we're talking about, um, and, uh, and we're really excited for players to be able to get to play it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. The new mode looks like a ton of fun. Great. Yeah, thank you guys for coming by, and uh, thanks for all your fans. All right. Thank you.